Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on propped cantilever beams. A propped cantilever beam of span 5 meter is given in the question. The beam is subjected to a point load 16 kN at a distance of 3 meter from the fixed end. In this question, we have to find the fixed end moment at A, the vertical reactions, and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. In this problem, first we are going to find the prop reaction RB. For that, we can use the condition in the point B, the upward deflection due to RB will be equal to the downward deflection due to the load 16 kN. To find both of these deflections, we can use moment area method. The formula to find the deflection in the moment area method is area x bar upon EI. Using that, we can make this expression. In this beam, the flexural rigidity EI is constant. So, we can eliminate both of them. Finally, we are getting this. Area 1 x1 bar is equal to area 2 x2 bar. Now, we have to make the bending moment diagrams separately. First, for RB and then for the load 16 kN. We have to find the bending moment about the point A. In this case, we have to use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us take RB. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 5. So the bending moment is 5 RB. Since it is positive, we have to draw the diagram above the line. Now let us draw the bending moment diagram due to the load 16 kN. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. 16 into 3 we will get 48. Since it is negative we have to draw the diagram below the line. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar. This is a triangle. We know the formula for the area of a triangle half into bh. Here the breadth is 5 and the height is 5rb. Let us find the centroid distance x1 bar. For this triangle, the centroid distance towards the left is 1 by 3 into b and towards the right is 2 by 3b. We are finding the deflection in the point b. So we have to apply the centroid distance towards the right. So we have to select this. Here the breadth is 5. So 2 upon 3 into 5. Let us find area 2 x2 bar. This is also a triangle. We know the area formula half into bh. Here b is 3 and h is 48. Let us apply them. The centroidal distance up to this point is 2 by 3 b. Here the breadth is 3. So 2 by 3 into 3. But we are finding the centroidal distance up to the point b. So we have to add this distance. This distance is 2 meter. So 2 upon 3 into 3 plus 2. For area 1 x1 bar, we are getting 125 rb upon 6. And for area 2 x2 bar, we are getting 288. We know that area 1 x1 bar is equal to area 2 x2 bar. Let us apply both of them. Finally, for rb, we are getting 6.912 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and to find ra. Ra and Rb are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. This load is acting downwards, so it is negative. Finally, for Ra, we are getting 9.088 kN. Now, let us take moment about A and find Ma. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. 
the vertical reaction RB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for MA we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A. In this case I am using right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using that rule we can find all of the values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now we are going to find the bending moment values. I'm going to find the bending moment values from the point A. In this case, I have to use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anti-clockwise will be negative. In the point A, we have the moment MA. It is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. So for the bending moment at C we are getting 13.824 kN meter. The point B is a simply supported end so the bending moment in the point B will be 0. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes zero. Let us make a section in this point and find the value of x. Here also we can use right hand side rule. The moment is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction Va is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. Finally for x, we are getting 1.48 meter. If you wanted to find the point of contraflexure from the right side, we have to subtract 1.48 by the length 5. We will get 3.52 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.